Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hatfield with Encinitas Podiatry Group. Today, we're going to talk about painful ingrown toenails. This is one of the most common things we see in the office. People present with a nail plate that is dug into the side of the skin and putting pressure and causes pain. Now, what's happening here is if we look straight on at the toe from the end, what we want to see is a flat, gentle curve, not too wide and not too curved. However, when they come in with an ingrown toenail, what's happened is the nail plate has curved down into the skin, causing the pressure, which then causes the pain. It's not uncommon that people present with an ingrown toenail where the side has actually penetrated the skin. This allows bacteria to come in and cause an infection, which is even more painful. Why does this happen? If you look at the toe from the top now, you'll see a little flat area. You can see it on your uh, thumb also. And what this is, is this is the root cells of the nail. This grows the nail and determines the shape. So the ingrown nail that happens at the end of the toe is actually caused by the root cells growing a nail that's too curved. If we look at the top, we can see the root cells and this part of the nail uh, is dug under the skin. So what can we do about this? Well, we really have two options. Option number one is we take a wedge of nail out of the end of the toe and the side where you're having the pain. This relieves the pressure and feels better immediately. It almost never needs anesthesia to do this. Uh, this is a good thing if this is the first time somebody's had an ingrown nail. Uh, but the problem is that now the end of the nail is here. In a two or three months, it's going to be growing out and can potentially be in the same place. So if this is the first time you've had an ingrown toenail, this is a reasonable thing to do. However, uh, if this is a recurrent problem, then if you did this procedure, you can bank on it coming back again. So what we do if you've had a recurrent problem is we put the toe to sleep. The local anesthesia, we use a cold spray at the base of the toe so you don't feel the needle stick. It's really quite comfortable. And then what we do is we remove the strip of the nail, the portion that's ingrown, and all the way down to the base and expose the root cells that grow the portion of the ingrown toenail. We put a chemical on the root cells and cauterize it, and the ingrown part of the nail doesn't come back anymore. So this would be a uh, illustration of before you had the ingrown toenail procedure, the permanent correction, and this would be what the nail would look like after the cautery procedure. The skin here would then move over towards the side of the nail and you'd have a normal looking nail once it's healed. People ask, is there disability after this procedure? And the answer is almost none. People put their shoes on and walk right out afterwards and in most cases they return to all their normal activities. Often we allow the children to return to PE or sports that afternoon. I had one child who ran in a track meet the next day and broke the school record, so it doesn't seem to lay people up most of the time.